So this is a story about me. I was born to be a daydreamer. <laughs> I was about three or four years old when this happened. I don't know why, but I daydreamed a lot when I was a kid. I was like an automatic car. I would just zone out as soon as I start class. This is me. This is actually a rather precise drawing of me. I looked very much like this when I was a kid. Nope, I was not a pineapple head. I had a signature hairstyle called the fountain head. I used to love the fountains, especially the ones in Trafalgar Square. So my mum decided to dedicate this hairstyle to the fountains and I would wear this look every day. Ha 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 ha. I look so fashionable and stylish. <laughs> but anyway, back to my daydreaming issue. I would daydream about anything when I was a kid. Food, cartoons. As you can see, my favourite was Tom and Jerry back then. I would also daydream about lots of random things. I think they were mostly about cartoons anyway. But one day my daydreaming issue got uh, <laughs> slightly out of control and uh, yeah, this happened. So it was just another usual day in class. I was minding my own business, sitting there and dozing off to Wonderland. Nothing normally happens. The teacher never seemed to notice me anyway. But on this particular day, my teacher decides to call my name. Alice, what is the square root of 3760 plus 977 divided by 580? Um, Alice? Alice? Alice, just answer the simple question. So what is the answer? Yeah, so I literally looked like this. The school must have thought I'm some weird kid staring at the teacher. But it didn't just happen once. This incident occurred a few times and the school got really concerned. So they had to call my mum in. I think there's something wrong with Alice. Um, I think you should take her to the hospital. Yep, she told my mum to take me to the hospital to see a specialist. Of course, my poor mum was really worried about me. So we went to the hospital and I met this lady. Alice, I want you to put these headphones on. There are two boxes in front of you. And when you hear a sound coming from your left side, I want you to put a marble into the box on the left. And when you hear a sound coming from your right side, I want you to put a marble into the box on your right. So I had these huge muffins on my head and every now and then these little beeping noises would come out from either side. In the end, I managed to put them all into the correct box. <coughs> There's no need to worry about your daughter. Your daughter's hearing is absolutely fine. The reason why she doesn't respond to her teacher is because she is busy daydreaming and when she daydreams, she just teleports herself to Wonderland. No need to worry. Of course. My mum thought it was my dad's fault because he was the one who named me Alice. And what is Alice best at doing? Going to Wonderland! Anyway, thanks for watching. This is my very first animated video. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And please feel free to give me suggestions uh, for future improvements. Take care. See you.